Most late model vehicles use a serpentine belt to drive the alternator, the power steering pump, the air conditioning compressor, and the water pump via the crankshaft. That's an important job, and as you can imagine, if the belt fails or breaks, it can cause some serious problems. Let's talk about belt wear for a moment. When a serpentine belt runs over the surface of a pulley, the friction created between the pulley and the belt results in a gradual loss of material from the belt. Much like a tire loses its tread over time, a serpentine belt wears out over time as material is lost on the rib surface. Eventually, the rib surface wears to the point that it can no longer effectively and efficiently transmit power. So how can your customers tell if the serpentine belt is on its last legs? Well, they might notice unusual noise coming from the engine and a deterioration in fuel efficiency. If the problem is severe, the alternator might not sufficiently charge the battery, which could trigger a battery malfunction indicator light on the dashboard. Other clues that there's a serious problem could include difficulty steering, failure of the air conditioning system, and overheating of the engine. Obviously, you never want to let things escalate to the point that the engine is overheating, which is why it's critical that your customer follows the recommended service intervals. Modern serpentine belts made of long-lasting EPDM typically don't crack with age like synthetic rubber, so it can be difficult to determine the true condition of a high-mileage belt just by looking at it. If your customer is relying on visual inspection to make sure the belt is functioning properly, they could be in for an unwelcome surprise that leaves them stranded on the side of the road. Their best bet is to assess the belt at 60,000 miles using a belt wear gauge that checks the depth of the ribbed V-grooves on the underside of the belt. A belt wear gauge provides a quick, accurate way to tell whether a belt needs to be replaced. It's also highly recommended that vehicle owners replace belts and tensioners at the same time to avoid system failures and to restore the system to its original condition. That's because the serpentine belt is part of a system known as the accessory belt drive system. In addition to the belt, this system usually includes an automatic belt tensioner, a torsional vibration damper, and a decoupler pulley. If the serpentine belt is at the end of its life cycle, chances are those other components will need to be replaced too, because they all tend to wear at about the same rate. One final note, when it's time for your customer to replace the serpentine belt, be sure to recommend a high quality belt that exceeds OE manufacturing specifications, as well as a tensioner that's designed to OE fit, form, and function. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching.